Brainwise Presence. Primary 4. Science Quiz B. Part 1. Welcome, Curious Minds. Today we're exploring the wonders of science together with 20 awesome questions. Are you ready to become a science superstar? Let's go! Number 1. Which part of a cactus plant helps it store water to survive in the desert? Again, which part of a cactus plant helps it store water to survive in the desert? The choices are A. Sharp spines B. Deep roots C. Thick, waxy stem D. Colorful flower The correct answer is C. Thick, waxy stem the thick, waxy stem of a cactus is adapted to store large amounts of water, which is scarce in a desert environment. Number 2. When you leave a glass of ice water on a table, the ice melts. This is an example of what change in the state of matter. Again, when you leave a glass of ice water on a table, the ice melts. This is an example of what change in the state of matter. The choices are A. Freezing B. Melting C. Evaporation D. Condensation The correct answer is B. Melting Melting is the process where a solid, ice, turns into a liquid, water, when heat is added. Number 3 what is the process called when water vapor in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid water, forming clouds? Again, what is the process called when water vapor in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid water, forming clouds? The choices are A. Evaporation B. Condensation C. Precipitation D. Collection The correct answer is B. Condensation Condensation is the change of state from a gas, water vapor, to a liquid, water droplets. This is how clouds are formed. Number 4. Leaving the faucet running while you brush your teeth wastes water. This is an example of pour, blank. Again, leaving the faucet running while you brush your teeth wastes water. This is an example of pour, blank. The choices are A. Recycling B. Conservation C. Pollution D. Adaptation The correct answer is B. Conservation Conservation is the wise use and protection of natural resources like water. Wasting water is the opposite of conservation. Number 5. What are the three R's of conservation? Again, what are the three R's of conservation? The choices are A. Run, reply, recycle. B. Reduce, reuse, recycle. C. Read, write, recite. D. Rock, river, road. The correct answer is B. Reduce, reuse, recycle. The three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle are a set of principles for minimizing waste and conserving natural resources. Number 6. Sound, light, and heat are all different forms of blank. Again, sound, light, and heat are all different forms of blank. The choices are A. Matter, B. Energy, C. Liquid. D. Force The correct answer is B. Energy Energy is the ability to do work. Sound, light, and heat are just a few of the many forms that energy can take. Number 7 which of the following is a non-living abiotic part of an ecosystem? 
Again, which of the following is a non-living abiotic part of an ecosystem? The choices are A. Tree B. Bird C. Sunlight D. Worm The correct answer is C. Sunlight Abiotic factors are the non-living chemical and physical parts of the environment that affect living organisms. This includes sunlight, water, and soil. Number 8. The layer of the earth that we live on is called the blank. Again, the layer of the earth that we live on is called the blank. The choices are A. Crust B. Mantle C. Core D. Plate The correct answer is A. Crust. The crust is the Earth's thinnest, outermost layer, where all life exists and where continents and oceans are found. Number 9. Why do some birds fly south for the winter? Again, why do some birds fly south for the winter? The choices are A. They are lost. B. They like to travel. C. To find food and warmer weather. D. To hide from predators. The correct answer is C. To find food and warmer weather. This seasonal journey, called migration, is an adaptation that allows birds to move to areas with more available food and a better climate for survival. Number 10. Which part of the human body is most like a decomposer in an ecosystem? Again, which part of the human body is most like a decomposer in an ecosystem? The choices are A. The brain B. The lungs C. The digestive system D. The skeleton The correct answer is C. The digestive system The digestive system breaks down complex food into simpler nutrients that the body can absorb similar to how decomposers break down dead organisms into simple nutrients. Great work so far! You're halfway to becoming a science whiz! Ready for the next questions? You've got this! Number 11. What is the main difference between a food chain and a food web? Again, what is the main difference between a food chain and a food web? The choices are A. A food web includes the sun, but a food chain does not. B. A food chain is a single path of energy, while a food web shows many interconnected food chains. C. A food web has only producers, while a food chain has consumers. D. There is no difference. The correct answer is B. A food chain is a single path of energy, while a food web shows many interconnected food chains. A food web is more realistic and complex, showing that most animals eat more than one type of food, creating multiple interconnected pathways for energy flow. Number 12. The Earth's crust is broken into large pieces that are constantly moving. What are these pieces called? Again. The Earth's crust is broken into large pieces that are constantly moving. What are these pieces called? The choices are A. Continents B. Tectonic plates C. Landforms D. Mantle pieces The correct answer is B. Tectonic plates. Plate tectonics is the theory that the Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle. Their movement causes earthquakes. Number 13. To have a balanced diet, a person needs to eat a variety of foods. Why is this important? Again, 
To have a balanced diet, a person needs to eat a variety of foods. Why is this important? The choices are A. Because it tastes better B. To make sure the body gets all the different nutrients it needs to stay healthy C. To help farmers sell different kinds of crops D. To avoid eating the same meal every day The correct answer is B. To make sure the body gets all the different nutrients it needs to stay healthy. Different foods provide different types of nutrients like vitamins, minerals, proteins. Eating a variety ensures your body gets the complete range it needs. Number 14. What do you call the path that energy takes as it flows from one living thing to another in an ecosystem? Again. What do you call the path that energy takes as it flows from one living thing to another in an ecosystem? The choices are A. A food web B. An energy cycle C. A food chain D. A life cycle The correct answer is C. A food chain. A food chain shows a single, direct path of how energy is transferred when one organism eats another. Number 15. Why do you see your reflection in a mirror but not on a wooden door? Again. Why do you see your reflection in a mirror but not on a wooden door? The choices are A. The mirror is bigger. B. The wooden door absorbs all light. C. The mirror has a very smooth and shiny surface that reflects light well. D. The wooden door is too dark. The correct answer is C. The mirror has a very smooth and shiny surface that reflects light well. Reflection happens best on smooth, shiny surfaces like a mirror. A rough surface like a wooden door scatters light in many directions instead of reflecting it back clearly. Number 16. A camel's hump, long eyelashes, and ability to close its nostrils are adaptations for living in what environment? Again, a camel's hump, long eyelashes, and ability to close its nostrils are adaptations for living in what environment? The choices are A. Rainforest B. Arctic C. Ocean D. Dessert The correct answer is D. Dessert These are all adaptations that help the camel survive in a hot, sandy desert, the hump stores fat for energy, and long lashes and closable nostrils keep sand out. Number 17. What do you call the opening in a volcano through which lava and ash erupt? Again. What do you call the opening in a volcano through which lava and ash erupt? The choices are A. The mouth B. The crater C. The base D. The chamber The correct answer is B. The crater. The crater is the bowl-shaped depression at the top of a volcano that marks the main opening, or vent. 18. What causes the seasons on Earth? Again. What causes the seasons on Earth? The choices are A. The Earth's distance from the Sun. B. The tilt of the Earth's axis as it revolves around the Sun. C. The speed of the Earth's rotation. D. The moon's gravitational pull. The correct answer is B. The tilt of the Earth's axis as it revolves around the sun. The tilt of the Earth's axis means that at different times of the year, either the northern or southern hemisphere is tilted more directly towards the sun, causing seasons. Number 19. What instrument is used to measure the shaking of the ground during an earthquake? 
Again, what instrument is used to measure the shaking of the ground during an earthquake? The choices are A. A thermometer B. A barometer C. A seismograph D. A telescope The correct answer is C. A seismograph. A seismograph is a scientific instrument that detects, measures, and records the vibrations and ground motion caused by an earthquake. Number 20. Which layer of the earth is made of liquid iron and nickel? Again, which layer of the earth is made of liquid iron and nickel? The choices are A. Crust B. Mantle C. Outer core D. Inner core. The correct answer is C. Outer core. The outer core is a layer of molten liquid metal that surrounds the solid inner core. Its movement generates the Earth's magnetic field. Fantastic job! You completed the science quiz. Give yourself a big round of applause. Comment your score and keep exploring the world of science. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time for more science fun. Check out other videos from BrainWise.